Welcome to Information, part of the Frogication series, where learning is natural. Sponsored by Sharpen Your Skills Continuing Education and Salon, I'm your host, Ayaba Griffin. And today, I'm going to be talking about heat damage versus heat trained hair. So what do those two types of hair look like? They look exactly the same. This is when a person who has their hair in its natural state or doesn't have any chemicals in their hair, no relaxer in their hair, and they get their hair blow dried and they get their hair uh, thermally straightened, whether it's with a straightening comb or whether it's with a flat iron. And when they want to go back to their natural curl pattern, or they wet their hair down, they shampoo it, or whatever the case might be, part of the hair is curly or wavy, and the ends of the hair is straight. Um, usually that curl pattern is weakened. It's not as tight, it's not as curly, or it's not as coily. It really depends on your perspective. If you're a person who just doesn't want any relaxers in your hair, no texturizers, no type of chemicals in your hair at all, but you still want to wear your hair straight, and that's your primary hairstyle, you wear your hair in straight styles, then the ends of your hair being straight or you having a weak curl pattern, you would consider your hair to be heat trained. But for a person like myself, who primarily wears their hair in an afro or in a curly, coily, wavy, or maybe even a kinky state, you would consider the ends of your hair being straight as being heat damaged. So it really depends on your perspective. It really depends on how you wear your hair primarily, whether you would view your hair um, as heat damaged or heat trained. That type of hair looks exactly the same. So you'll hear people say, oh, my hair is heat damaged because they you know, got their hair blow dried and that um, hair did not go back to the same curl pattern or wave pattern that they had prior to them getting their hair thermally straightened. Or you may hear them say, my ends are straight on my hair and it won't curl like it used to. It won't do what it did before. That happened to me. It happened to me twice. Two different times I used my hair, I used a, a flat iron on my hair. And um, the first time when it happened, um, my hair stayed straight for like two weeks. And some people will say like, well, what's wrong with that? Well, I wanted my hair to, you know, just go back to the natural curl pattern that it had. Well, only half of it went back. My hair was really, really straight on the ends. The curl pattern was weakened. And so what I ended up doing was cutting those straight ends off of my hair. And then I just kind of went back to growing it out from that particular point. Um, the second time it happened, uh, my ends were really, really straight. And it was, you know, especially in the front part of my hair. And so I decided, I said, I'm not cutting it off. I literally let it grow out. And until all of the straight ends were out of my hair and my curl pattern was back to what it was prior to me straightening it with the flat iron. So when a person's hair becomes straight like that, on the ends, the curl pattern is loose or it's weakened and it's not the same. Um, if you don't cut those ends off, you literally have to grow your hair out until it goes back to its natural um, curl pattern, whether it's curly, wavy, coily, or even kinky, if that's the way you wear your hair, you have to let those straight ends grow out just like you would if you had a relaxer in your hair, in your hair and you let that relaxer grow out. It's the same process. You have to let that hair go back to its natural state. So 
You know, you make the decision as to which side of the fence you're on. When, whether you look at um, the hair being straight on the ends or having a weak um, curl pattern or a weak wave pattern as being heat damaged or whether you look at it as being heat trained. Um, it really depends on you. It really depends on your perspective. It really depends on how you wear your hair primarily as to whether you would view your hair as being heat damaged versus being heat trained. So I would just want to thank you for joining me for Information, part of the Frogication series where learning is natural. Sponsored by Sharpen Your Skills Continuing Education and Salon. I'll see you next time.